Hello there everyone, you know who I am, E.T. Templar, Alien Crusader from Beyond the Heavens, here to entertain and destroy through the power of me magic, and I'm just also getting in on this uh, Alec Baldwin. So not too long ago, he actually shot one person and injured another one on his set of uh, Rust, which is a Western movie, a Western movie with Alec Baldwin. That movie's probably going to suck a wet fart out of a hippopotamus's butthole. But um, th there's an angle here, and I'm not going to get into the usual, Yo, someone left you out again on set and you blasted. There's another angle here. And, of course, if you're, in, in, if you're interested by conspiracy theory, let alone schizo conspiracy theories, here's a juicy one for you. So this is just an article from somewhere someone shared on Twitter. And... Uh, Helena Hutchins' next project was a documentary on Hollywood pedophile rings. The director of photography killed by Alec Baldwin was attached to the controversial upcoming documentary about alleged pedophile rings in the entertainment industry. So you can kind of see where the conspiracy is uh, coming into fruition. And interestingly enough, her husband did um, lawyer work for the Clintons. And why is it that everyone connected, even if you're not a conspiracy-minded person, how come the Clintons know so many people who end up killing themselves or dying in mysterious ways, right? Of course, people who like the Clintons are going to be like, oh, it's just coincidence. Really, really, there was, uh, there's also that one guy that had a fling with Hillary Clinton. I forgot his name. But somehow he had two bullets to the back of his head, and they said it was a suicide. And, and let me demonstrate for you. This is just a, a replica, by the way. It's not a real gun, so calm down. So basically, the... <laughs> The guy somehow, this actually happened somehow, at an angle like this, pulled the trigger, <laughs> bullet, ex, you know, exits out his forehead, and somehow he lives this, and he's conscious enough with brain pouring out of, like, one sector of his fucking forehead. And it's the second one that does it. Now, I'm only laughing because it's so fucked up. It's so obviously not a suicide, right? Because one, uh, for obvious examples, why are you doing this, right? Why are you doing this? This is stupid. This doesn't make any sense. In what real world does shooting yourself like this make sense? No, this, that's not what happened. What happened is someone walked up to him at the national park and plugged him twice in the back of the head. Uh, and, of course, because the Clintons, they knew someone who worked at the park service and that suicide happened on a, a national park, it got buried and it didn't go anywhere. So we have a person who, whose husband worked for the Clintons and she was doing a project uh, uncovering uh, a documentary about Hollywood PO file rings, right? And then she ends up dead? Come on. This wasn't no oopsie doodles. We had live rounds. This was an accident. This was a hit made to look like an accidental, you know, oopsies, right? Come on. And you mean to tell me in these Hollywood sets, like one guy even, according to the story, waved the gun and was like, "Cold gun, cold gun, cold gun," right? So in between that. And it getting into the hands of Eric Barin, um, he still blasted one person, and of course the bullet went through the not to get grody, the uh, videographer, cinematographer, whatever, and then hit the guy behind her because you know at close point blank range, it's gonna sail through. Um, so yeah, Alec Baldwin, I I don't think this is an innocent accident as is being portrayed. Either that or they, uh, th there was another story that they said they left the guns on a cart, just unsupervised for anyone to walk up and just be like, ooh, you know what, and you take the blanks out? Take all the blanks and load up some live rounds and just leave it there for some dumb, borderline retarded actor to be like, okay, let's reenact your scene. And then th that's all she wrote. So I honestly believe this is an assassination meant to look like an accident. 
And anyone who says otherwise, like, I, I can see your opinion. But if she or her husband was linked to the Clintons and she's about to do this big tell-all documentary about Hollywood P.O. file rings, yeah, I, this, this isn't just an oopsie doodle, we left live rounds and a gun. That, in my opinion, there's no way. This is too convenient. It's just far, far too convenient. And life is not that convenient. Um, so I, I think this was a political assassination of sorts. Uh, and she needed to go. She needed to go because she was about to shine the light on the cockroaches of Hollywood. And regardless of the Q-Boomer shit, um, we can all agree that the people in Hollywood are evil, degenerate scum. This is fact. A good 99% of them are evil, degenerate scum. And I wouldn't put it past these sickos in Hollywood. What was that? Roman Polanski? There was that Wood guy? Al Wood? Or Wood something? These people are sick. They're degenerate. They don't have a god. Or if they do have a god, it's the big red guy downstairs. Uh, but yeah, uh, in closing, this was definitely uh, a, a hit made to look like an accident. That's what I believe, um, YouTube. So that's just me giving my crap opinion. I'm not like... <sighs> now, yeah, I, I honestly believe that I think... This was no accident. There's no way. I'm not buying this as an accident. But hopefully you found this uh, take interesting. And if you're a fan of conspiracy theories and you enjoyed this take and angle of this story that maybe you have heard, seen, but um, smack a like, smack a dislike, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I, I still firmly believe that um, she got whacked.